Hello lovely people and welcome back to a new video and this video is called Weird Angles of My House Not really, but there we go. I've just come back from work uh, Well, the one in the office Working from home this afternoon. So we are in my dining room and you may have seen my dining room in other videos such as what's in my carry-on? Yes, my Disney carry-on my Cuposket unboxings. Um, I will not link those videos. If you want to find them, you can go find them. They're not very exciting, but that's content for you. So yes, I'm here with the dining room chair. We are here together. Um, my coat I'm obsessed with, I just basically put like this when I got back. Box of childhood memories, work bag, others, various paraphernalia that I chuck everywhere. And we are going to do a haul today, a Disneyland Paris haul, as you would have seen in the title, um, with all lots of fun stuff, new collections, the lot. Um, so basically I went to Disneyland Paris for the day, a day trip the other day, and I had every intention of vlogging, but parks were at capacity, everything, and I mean everything was over an hour wait. Even, well Pirates was like a 50 minute wait, like no one's waiting Pirates, like 50 minutes for Pirates of the Caribbean, and no one's waiting 50 minutes for Phantom Manor. It's not that great. Haunted Mansion is better. I didn't actually vlog anything. I, I tried to at the beginning and I actually did um, video my experiences with the princesses so I may do them in separate videos because I got some nice content within uh, the Princess Pavilion. But as for everything else I just it was just way too busy. There's like I, I got my camera out and then there was like a hundred people behind me. So I just decided you know what let's just knock it on the head let's just not bother and we'll just save the vlogging for a future trip coming up in a few months now so that's exciting um but yes we went to Disneyland Paris for the day it was it was interesting I don't know it was fun but it was also yeah enlightening that's really cryptic I might do a video on my thoughts on Disneyland Paris uh we did have to use Premiere um Access which is their version of like Genie Plus in a sort of way that experience actually was really good. Unfortunately, you do have to pay every time you want to ride a ride. It's not like Genie Plus where you pay and then you can do lightning lanes um, for like multiple rides if you get uh, the opportunity to, like if they don't sell out. This one you have to pay for every time you want to ride. But considering how high the wait times were, it was just not feasible to queue up for every ride we wanted to do. So we paid for Peter Pan and, and Thunder Mountain twice. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on the pros and cons of uh, primary access, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, we're here for a haul, so let's just get straight into the haul. Uh, it's not a very big haul, um, because as usual, the thing I wanted they sold out of, which was the 30th anniversary spirit jersey. If you watched my last Disneyland Paris in a day uh, video, which I'll leave linked down below for you if you haven't, I bought um, a t-shirt because I wanted the spirit jersey, but it was sold out. I then saw on Twitter that they brought it back, but it was sold out again. In typical fashion. So I got other things. Uh, firstly, I shall show you whatever is nearest to hand. So I got a Disneyland Paris 30th bag. It looks like I don't even know you can see it. There you go. It looks like that. And in here are my mom's presents. So I got my mum the the hand soap. She claims that she only meant this as a joke that she wanted this but she, I do like remember her mentioning it and then just like not mentioning it again but oh well. Uh, so this is the Mickey Foam in Hand Soap Dispenser and the Grapefruit Scents. Uh, this was 15 euros and as you can see it oh look, there's, there's the reflection on my camera you can see yourself. Uh, that's what it pumps out like so it's very much like the ones they sell at Tokyo Disney and I think Japan just sell um, them in general but they do like flowers and other shapes um, so yeah I got her this because you know why not sometimes you need a uh, fun hand soap uh, my mum also collects biscuit tin uh, we got her the 30th biscuit tin I'm not gonna like put it up because it reflects everything in the background and you don't want to see the background I literally chuck myself everywhere. It's terrible. I chuck everything when I get home and it just looks a tip until I tidy it up because I don't want to get shouted at. Um, but yeah, we got her a biscuit tin. Uh, this was uh, 13 euros and it just comes with um, biscuits with the characters on it like that. Uh, again, sorry if I keep looking up. Remember, I have a, a viewfinder now. I think that's what it's called. Screen. So um, typical Libra fashion. I like looking at myself. Uh, so that was from the bag. And then I also got her this t-shirt which you may recognise if you've watched my other video. Yes, my mum got the same t-shirt as me. The 30 Years of Magic Mickey Mouse. Uh, 
This is the best t-shirt from the 30th collection, I have to say, other than the spirit jersey if you can get your hands on it. Uh, but this one's definitely the best. I had no idea what size to get her, so I got her the same size as me, which is probably going to be way too big, but... I don't know. And this was uh, 20 euros. And again, it's just got Mickey and the castle. I think it's got the castle, isn't it? Yeah. It says 30 years of magic. So that's what I got to my mum. And then for my dad, um, he is coming on a trip with me and my sister in a few months' time. So we had to get him kitted out. So I got him this Star Wars t-shirt, which is pretty cool. So it has like Darth Vader and Stormtroopers and it's just black and it says Star Wars. So we thought he could wear this around Galaxy's Edge and just, you know, generally be number one Star Wars fan. And this was 23 euros. So the one thing I love about doing hauls um, from Disneyland Paris is that I can actually give you guys the price and the price is what it is. You know, when I do my California, I'm like, so the original price is like $25, but with tax, it's like 3,500 because that's how much tax feels like. So I quite like this. And then fun fact, uh, the Euro Disney uh, collection had launched. So if you don't know what the, I think it's called the Remix collection. Basically Disneyland Paris, obviously it's their 30th anniversary. So they brought out, um, clothes inspired by the 90s and when the park first opened so when it was called euro disney and the collection was not the collection i thought it was because it kept showing photos for a very long time which had the similar logo to like the original i have a sweatshirt from like the opening and the logo was very much reminiscent of that and i didn't really like those t-shirts because it literally was like yellow euro disney and then it was red euro disney and it was just like no um, so when I went to the shop and saw that, like, the collection was there, um, I was like, hang on a minute, I didn't realise this was the collection. And it was actually a lot nicer, so, um, I got my sister something, and I also got myself something. So, for my sister, a spirit jersey. So it has Mickey on the front, and it's blue, white, then it has red with euro, like that. So very reminiscent of the logo um, and then plain yellow sleeve and then on the back we have Disney and this was how much was this this was 65 euros and this is an XL now just a word of warning I think I put this in my other videos their spirit jerseys in Disneyland Paris only got to an XL unlike the American parks which I believe they got to a triple XL I know I wear a double XL in the um, spirit jerseys in America so yeah this is the spirit jersey it's quite fun actually I quite like it I will probably steal it and then for myself because obviously always have to buy myself merch I just went straight for the euro collection like I said I wanted the spirit jersey did I mention about spirit jersey I'm not sure I wanted yes I did mention about spirit jersey um I wanted the spirit jersey they didn't have it I looked in the emporium I looked at floras which is where the remix collection is at the top of Main Street, and I also looked in the village and they didn't have anything, so I just got the remix collection and I got the bucket hat because I love a bucket hat and it has Euro Disney and then it has Mickey. I really like the fact that Mickey is embroidered on um, and it feels like really, really good quality. I will say one thing this merch I feel is really reasonably priced, this collection, so I'm well chuffed about that. And this was 25 euros, which I don't think is bad because like I said, that is like really well done and it's so much fun. And it's like blue, yellow and a red brim. Love it. And yes, in case you're wondering, it matches the spirit jersey. And in t-shirt wise, they had uh, three t-shirts, uh, but this in my humble opinion is the best one. I've just put this on the floor, so. It is covered in fluff. Thank you, carpet. And uh, yeah, so I said, like I said, this was the best one. This is a double XL because you know me, always wear my t-shirts really big. And it has Euro Disney on it, and then Casey and Mickey, and then it says 1992. And for any of you guys who don't know and didn't watch my last video, I am also a 1992 baby. So I was like, I have to, I have to buy this collection because. It's the year I was born. So yeah, it just has that and then it's just plain white and then it has blue piping on the sleeves and around the neck. So yeah. And that was 26 euros. So really, I mean, it's quite see-through now that I look at it, but 
I mean, you don't really want to be bundled up on a park day. I mean, unless you go in winter, then that's kind of the idea. But other than that, it's fun. I like it. It's brilliant. And that's everything I got from Disneyland Paris. As you guys know, I love merch, so I had to buy stuff. This is, like, obviously a lot more than I thought it would. Also, the first time that I didn't buy any pins from a park. They did have the alternate Aurora one. If, again, if you watched um, my last vlog, I did a haul at the end. And, again, that was really bad quality. I just seem to do really random quality um, hauls. But this one kind of reminds me of my Korea vlogs, where I'd come back and I'd just place my camera on my bed or on the sofa and just be like, let's do a haul. Um, if you haven't seen my Korea videos, um, well, me in Seoul, I'll leave them down below as well. Um, but yeah, you know, I've got to do a merch haul. I need to buy the merch. No pins, unfortunately. Um, to be honest, everything is the same. Plushies are the same. More of the 30th stuff had sold out, uh, but they obviously had the remix collection, so that was fun. But yeah, a lot of the same old, same old, which is, uh, unfortunate but there we go so yes thank you so much for watching my video sorry about the weird angle i don't know what the next video will be or when it will be um it will probably be about the premiere access but whenever i upload that i do not know uh vlogs will not be back until later in the year um disney park vlogs i don't plan on going to Disneyland paris anytime soon it's a great park like in the sense that like for me it's nostalgia but <sighs> just the capacity thing was just a nightmare and then just financially it just added up and it was just yeah it was a whole situation but yes I mean if I go anywhere exciting before my next trip then obviously I will vlog it for you guys if I think it'll be interesting but yeah I'm if you want part content it's going to be a few more months uh, I may be doing like lead up planning stuff I'm not really sure probably not uh we shall wait and see but to all you who keep sticking around, I really appreciate it. I know I upload sporadically. I tend to do these videos just for me to look back on and be like, oh my god, that was so cool that I did that, or I did this, or I went, like, I, sometimes I, I forget when I buy stuff, like, when I've been on a trip. And so I go back over my videos, and I'm like, oh, I got it then. Okay, so I know what to do there. But yeah, I love looking back on these videos and just, you know, memory lane, because that's what YouTube is. So again, thank you for tuning into this installment of Weird Angles of My House, and the fact that I just chuck all my stuff everywhere. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you all. It doesn't matter if one person watches this, or ten people, or more watch this video. I really, really do appreciate it. And until our next haul video, because, well, you know I love merch, so it's probably going to be sooner than we think. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!